Hey everybody, thank you for joining in. Today we're going to take a look at the Cobra tank from AS Vape. You can find AS Vape on the web at www.asvape.net. You can also find them on Facebook and on Instagram. I'll leave their links down below. This is their newest tank that they just come out with. It's not even on their website yet. This is how they sent this over to me for review. Thank you, Lynn, for sending this over. A little something about the tank. This tank is actually inspired by the um, Colt Cobra uh, revolver that was made in 1986 by the Colt Company. And that's where they got the inspiration for this here onto it. Um, it's very, very simple. It's got your top air uh, top fill. It's got bottom airflow onto it. It comes with uh, two coils that are made of uh, Nichrome 80 that come out to 0 0.5. It's a basic tank onto it. They sent me paperwork uh, for saying it was an RTA. There's no RTA. There's nothing to build onto it. It's coils. So that's something. But this is not on their website yet. So this is something I'll, I I could talk to them about. They did send me over a nice hat. Sent me over a nice shirt. Has their logo here. And down on the side over here it has it also. Very, very cool. I like the shirt a lot. Um, <clears throat> what else can I tell you about it? The coils, even like I said, they're 0 0.5, but the way the uniqueness of the coil itself, when we take a look down low, you can uh, see, but it's got, it, you can run 100% VG into this here. It only can go from uh, 30 to 45 watts, so this is perfect for someone that is just basically transitioning or just stuck right at that, you know, between 25 and 50 watt range, and there's a lot of people out there that use that. This tank is going to be right up their alley for it, um, but let's get up close. And we'll dive down and uh, grab a vape and a drink and meet me down there. All right, so here we are down below here. And just the way it comes into here, has your nice packaging. It's all done in the gold leaf. It says Cobra with the AS Vapes insignia onto this side here. Tells you this is AS Vape. Tells you the color here, silver. But it also does come in also a black, which we'll go over that anyways. Nothing else here. And then on the back here, it's this is a nice hard case i like that one thing i will say even when you had you had seen me do uh, the aim nine their uh, packaging is <laughs> excellent i mean i love their packaging it just it's like a display in itself and that's what packaging should really should be so here on the back here it's all imprinted into the plastic box as vape shenzhen technology company ltd and then it gives you their address their phone number their warnings you have a uh, scratch and sniff for validation of the product itself. Now, when you take a look at this here, you just it has this little unique. It's just like I said, it would like even with the Aim Nine, it looked like a jewelry case, um, like a ring box. This one here, I like the way it slides out. Here's your instructions here, which we'll go over. Um, it tells you all the different things and the capacities and whatnot, and then how to fill it, which we'll go over that. They give you a nice bag of different O-rings which is cool they give you a replacement glass they give you an additional coil and then here is the star of the show and don't mind the, the liquid that you see in there because it's been getting used and uh, that's it there's nothing else in the box it's all sealed up so let's put this stuff away here And put it to the side. Take a look at the tank here in itself, and we'll just take go over the card at the same time here. Um, tank it shows you here that it's the five. To, uh, it's a drip tip onto it. This one's a um, it's a heat resistant drip tip. It's really really thick, and it goes to a smaller bore. But you can pull this off and replace it with an. A regular standard size 510 if you wanted to so that's cool in itself there actually let's leave that off and then you have for your top fill here and then you do have your top fill here you have your bottom air flows onto it this all come all completely apart and again don't mind all the juiciness because it's been getting used and then there's your coil 
Everything goes together in and out pretty pretty quickly. Standard 510 with just enough protrusion. I would not put it on a uh, any kind of hybrid. It sticks out a little bit, but better off to put it on a mechanical. Um, and so that's how you break the whole thing down. It comes right down, so you got easy cleaning onto it. The coils onto it here are, I only see the one kind that they have, and we're going to put this one away, and we're going to go over the clean one because everything is all wet, and it's not going to show. So pretty simple to put everything together. Your coil goes into here. And if you were to gonna prime, uh, if you were to gonna put a new coil in, you would drop a couple drops into here. All the way around here, it's all uniquely. It's got 360. So instead of having slots here, 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 and here, these are all little tiny holes that go all the way around through. So it feeds very, very well. And again, like I said, it just everything is very simple to put back together. fill this up after we talk about it a little bit more and there you go and it shows you that it says AS vape on the top and then there's the Cobra here on the back here it shows 1986 every one of their tanks are going to be 1986 because this was inspired by the Cobra um, manufacturing company in 1986 the, uh, the Colt Cobra um, for the uh, re the Colt Cobra revolver and that was the idea of this here was for that and that's why like I said it shows every one of theirs is going to show 1986 right back here on the bottom it shows your Cobra and then it has designed by AS Vape Tech so that's pretty simple onto it the dimensions onto it from bottom to top 42 and a half millimeters 24 millimeters going across this way it has a 3.8 milliliter tank when this is completely empty it weighs 40.5 grams and like i said it is a standard 510 um so that's about it really onto that now let's go over their instructions here and they're pretty simple um I, we've already gone over all the dimensions it has the two different airflow that it is made out of 304 stainless steel which is very very good and like I said it does come in black or silver which is the stainless steel and it does come with two coils 0 0.5 ohm nichrome 80 it shows you that it says N80 Ni80 nichrome 80 and then your drip tip is a palm drip tip it is for heat dissipation on the back here it tells you how to fill your e-liquid right through the top how to replace the coil and how to adjust your airflow pretty simple so let's take a look at the coil now and like I said this is a very unique coil and I like the way they send the extra coil in it looks just like a little bullet but you take a look at the coil here and let's see if it'll pick it up it tells you that it's NI80 0. 5 on your ohms and it's good for 30 to 45 watts there's the as vape insignia onto it and like i said it has the 360 all those little holes for pulling in your juice so even though you're only going to get 45 watts out of this you're not going to have any dry hits and which i have not i've been using this thing for well i've gone through at least 10 tanks with it with that one coil and I've not had any issues with it so the juice flow works very very well onto it so let's uh, throw some juice into here and then we'll take it up on top and uh, we'll talk about it a little bit more we're going to use some of this uh, Vaptasia Killer Custard into there because that's what I've been running into it and as you can see I've gone through half a bottle well almost half a bottle I've run at least 10 tanks through here easily and very simple to fill and again this will hold 3.8 milliliters so it's going to hold quite a lot of uh, juice and with the maximum of only 45 watts this is really going to be someone that is right in that ballpark that is 
between 25 and 50 watts, but usually runs right around 45. This is going to be an ideal tank for that person. The flavor is exceptional for what it, the tank it is itself, and as you can see, it does have a small bore, um, so you're gonna it's gonna you're gonna think that it's gonna give you a mouth to lung, but with the airflow that's onto here. You're not going to have any issues with airflow. So let's throw this on. We're going to throw this on here, my IPv400. And yeah, I've been running. This is the one I've been running it on. Looks pretty sweet onto there. And they said at 0.5. Let's see if this will pick it up to what it says. No, it don't want to. Um, it comes out to 0 0.51. So they're very accurate onto your ohms as well. Why don't we take a rip onto it and meet me upstairs? All right, so welcome back up on top. We took a look at the AS Vape Cobra Tank. Um, what do you think of it? I, It's not bad. I mean, like I said at the beginning there, they sent it over and they said it was the Cobra RTA atomizer. There's nothing on here about an RTA. It's coils. I don't see anything that you can build onto it. But that's something that's not even on the website yet. So I'll send that information over to them so they make sure that they don't put it on the website as an RTA unless they have a base for it. But I don't see one onto there anywhere. And um, <clears throat> But do I like this tank? Hell yeah, I do. Um, great flavor onto it altogether. I'm really surprised. Like I said, I'm running this here at 45 watts. Um, this coil I've been running I'm on my at least 12th tank 10 12 in that area um, the only thing I've been running into it is this uh, killer custard from um, vape Tasia which is a 70 VG 30 PG they claim that you can run a hundred percent VG and if you took a look at those coils the way they got that 360 where all those little holes you, you it's gonna draw juice all day long um, I did run it up. They said, you know, 35, 30 to 45 watts. I ran it up about 55 watts and it started to, eh, I backed it down to 50. It was working good for 50, but if you're, if they're reckon, recommending 45 watts and you're running over 45 watts, you're going to shorten the life of the coil. So keep it right around that area. Uh, like I said, at the very beginning of the video, this is going to be ideal for someone that is transitioning or just right in their just their wheelhouse is between 25 and 50 watts this is going to be perfect for them um like i mentioned also the with the smaller hole and everything it, it's reminiscent you would think that it's a uh, mouth to lung but check out the here i'm running this at 45 watts it's got great airflow It makes clouds for days. The flavor onto this here, and I'm using the Killer Custard because I use a lot of this Killer Custard. It's one of my favorite. I do have a review coming up onto it, but I've probably gone through probably six, seven bottles of the Vaptasia Killer Custard. It's one of my favorite custards altogether. So I know what that taste is on a dripper and other tanks and RD, RDTAs. So when I put this into here, I was expecting a certain flavor, and I got it. And that is very, very important that you have this, you're going to have that great flavor into here as if you were going to run it in a super ohm, sub ohm tank, or if you're going to put it in an RDA, RDTA, RTA, that's what you want. They nailed it onto that. Um, I do like the small tank for it. It is 3.8 milliliters, which is not bad. There's a lot of pros onto it. Um, the only con I could really say is. The drip tip, I'm really not impressed with. I know it's for heat dissipation, but you're only going to be running 45 watts, so you're really not going to get a lot of heat. But they did give you an option that you can pop this one off and put a regular standard 510 on, so that's going to be a positive in itself there. Um, I like the top airflow. It is kind of hard to get. I've had it where I've tried to unscrew the top part and had the top part of the tank also come off with it, so that's kind of a con, but that might be something as it breaks in, it'll stop. And uh, But... Uh, Overall, 
I like this tank. I don't know the pricing on to it because, like I said, it's not even on their website yet. But if you go over to www.asvape.net, links will be all down below. Go over and check it out themselves. Um, that's going to do it. Like I said, I can definitely recommend this here. This is be perfect for someone that's already in their wheelhouse between 25 and 50 watts. Yeah, this is definitely one that they would really enjoy a lot. That's going to do it for tonight, folks. So until the next time. Keep vaping.